Hello everyone, Time of the Tank here. Uh, following on from my last video, which was quite some time ago now, because being the oldest teenager in town, after my illness, um, I managed to uh, do some work on my locos, and two or three, no, three days after, I dislocated my left arm, which put me out of action for quite a while. It's still painful, but I'm getting there. So this is basically just to say many, many thanks to all of uh, you guys who have supported me and wish me well. Um, so this is the first video I've been able to do for a while. Um, in my last video, uh, featuring this 1044, um, I bought uh, a Roco job lot, which included this 1044, electric loco and uh, two matching coaches and also a roco uh, br215 with i think it was 11 wagons so uh, i'm very very impressed how these roco locomotives run and the quality um, what i did say was that i would look for two more um, matching coaches um, but i think it was the next day i looked through my box and I found two suitable carriages and repainted them um, which I think they turned out okay apart from here we go nice and slowly you'll see apart from the fact I you had to put white stripes on them because I ran out of silver paint but that's something I can remedy later on I've also put passengers in all of them it's hard to see this third one but there are passengers and also in the fourth coach there's passengers so I think the orange matches quite well it's only the uh, the white stripe I need to change the silver when I get some silver paint amazing sound from this 1044 the motor It has like a like a turbo whistle to it. You can just hear it. Very very nice. I think it looks quite good now with its four almost matching coaches. Let me know what you think. Right, so we bring that one to a halt. Okay. Now. Um, this loco in the station is um, a UF67001 on a Pico 218 chassis. Uh, I installed lights in this one, so we'll see it. Here we go, you can see the lights now. I installed lights at the front and lights at the rear. again this is a very nice runner the Chinese D, uh, D7 that I refer to as the searchlight I installed um, I haven't done anything about that yet because my left arm is still not strong enough to do some jobs so this one usually has the rear LED red lights nice runner So there you can see the lights. Okay, so we bring that to a halt. Yeah, I went to the doctor with my, my arm and I said, when all this is over, will I be able to sit down and play the piano? He said, I don't see why not. I said, Carl, you're the most amazing doctor I've ever come across. He said, what makes you say that? He said, well, I couldn't play the piano before I came here. And I said to him, when I touch my ear, it hurts. When I touch my nose, it hurts. When I touch my mouth, it hurts. He said, ah, I can see. He said, you've broken your finger. So here we go. This is 
my modified SD40 by Mahano. I've installed LED lights in this and also I've changed the motor which is classified at the moment because it's still under trial but you can see how slowly this will run now. With the original Mahano motor that would have been impossible and also stopping and I'll stop it now. Now with the Mahano motor they tend to be a bit jerky when they start off so we'll see this one now. You see how that starts so smooth there we go you can see LED lights at the rear and you can see them there so these basically were the last three projects before I decided to become the oldest teenager in town which I paid for dearly by not being, and also I'm left handed so when I dislocated my left arm that made things even worse and I said to the doctor doctor I keep having these dreams of all these beautiful women coming towards me and I keep pushing them away every night beautiful women coming towards me and I push them away he said, what do you want me to do about that? I said, break my arms. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, we'll just see it coming back around again. If all goes to plan, I may buy more of these classified motors and install them in all my Mahano double drive locos because I'm very very impressed how they perform now or how this one performs with the modified motor so we'll see again having a crawl it's coming in nice and slowly to the station there we are that's actually crawling You would never do that before, never. So this is great if you want to be um, more running them more at scale speed. Much more realistic. And like I say, I'll stop it now. Okay, start again. And you see how smooth you can start off. With some locos, they jerk forward. That's my only criticism with the Lima uh, pancake motors or the Ringfield motors. Uh, they're quite jerky. It's very hard to get them to start and stop smoothly. But um, this modification seems to be working well. So um, if it continues like this, I'll, I shall try and buy some more motors. Okay, so again, thanks very much to everybody who wished me the best in my recovery. I'm getting there. As you can see the camera's shaking because I'm trying to do something with my left hand which still hasn't got its full use yet. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye now.